from 44th Street in Camelback. This is the Arizona Daily Mix with Brad Perry. And today, we're getting you ready for the big game. So get ready for some food and fun because we're tailgating. And it all starts right now. Good morning. I'll tell you, it's exciting. Welcome to the Arizona Daily Mix. I am Brad Perry, and it is a Super Bowl party all over Arizona. All over Arizona, but definitely here in Phoenix. We got a lot going on. We're going to have some fun. Right now, I got to show you a shot from Hans Park, where there is the other big party happening over here. It's the NFL Experience, which is really cool that you can go check out. And the other main party we're at is right here in Scottsdale. It is the ESPN. Main Street tailgate that we're doing and it's going to be a blast for everybody to have a good time out here. This is pretty cool. They got the show going on. They got fans. They got all kinds of stuff happening and today is the day that you can come down here and have a good time. We're going to find out more about that in just a little bit. But again, we got everything going for you. We're going to be talking food over with the Hash Kitchen. We are going to be talking betting over at Gila River Resort and Casino. Then we're going to take you a little music time with solo karaoke and then we're not done. We're not done. We got fans. That's what we got right here. We might have a little fan battle going on. Who knows? I got the big hat on from Noggin Boss. We got to see what's going on here. But it is definitely a party of parties down here over at the Old Town OESPN Main Street tailgate going on for right now. And of course, I have to get into uh, some trending for you. Check out some trending. And trending is brought to you by Gerber Injury law. Okay, what's trending right now, of course, is music in the valley going on. We started it yesterday with some great bands going on, but tonight Dave Matthews plays along with uh, a set with DJ Pee Wee. Then you have Imagine Dragons, King Brown. Uh, you have Lee Bryce down there at Hans T. Park playing tonight. So it's a big music fun going all over the place. The other thing that's trending is ticket sales. Now check this out. This is interesting. You know, the Eagles against the Chiefs, tickets are declining. Yeah, tickets are declining. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, tickets are now around 5,000, up to about maybe six, somewhere like that. Dropped quite a bit, they're saying. Almost about 10% from the original time uh, when they started to go on sale. And so now you can pick up uh, tickets. $20,000. Hey, who needs tickets? I got $20,000. Who needs tickets again? $20,000 for tickets right now. Anybody? Anybody? No, nobody? So look at that. No one's, no one's picking up on those a little bit. But that's what we got going on. We're going to have some fun down here. Karen, come on over here. Karen, how you doing? Good Listen, see you. The, the fun part I like is that the sun's going to hurt our show and the way we're trying to do things. Okay. But I'm not upset because it is definitely sunshine down here yes, in Old sunshine. Town. Awesome. Let's talk this. This is awesome. The uh, historical district, ESPN, main stage, tailgate, all kinds of stuff happening down yes, here. Yes, it's absolutely wonderful. We've got a lot of our local merchants and restaurants and the bars participating in this uh, wonderful Main Street tailgate with ESPN. It's been a wonderful week. Free event, 8 to 8 today and tomorrow and then Sunday till noon. And what's really cool too is ESPN is actually here doing their show. The crazy thing is is that people don't realize they're on East Coast time so they've been out here at like 5 a.m. or yes, something like they're that. Out, they're out here. It actually started at 6 a.m. with Get Up and then they're, they're doing uh, First Take right now. Lawrence Trevor is going to be on here in just a minute so a lot, lots of people stopping by. Kurt Warner was here this morning. I saw him. So yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. We've seen the KC um, Chiefs uh, mascot, cheerleaders, <laughs> and the Eagles. And it's just been a wonderful week. And let's talk also how important this is to Old Town uh, Scottsdale because it brings in merchants. It brings in um, pretty much fans. It brings in people who've never been here before. Yeah, absolutely. The, um, people just, uh, everybody loves Old Town Scottsdale. It's definitely on a, it's definitely a destination and we're just really pleased that ESPN has selected Old Town Scottsdale for the past three times that we've had a Super Bowl. Yeah, and so come on in here. It's free, as she said. You got the, of course, the letters to take pictures with. You got music. You got fun. You got food. You got everything you can ask for. And what I love, too, is that there's some amazing ambassadors walking around for those who are out of town or those who have never been here in a while to give them guidance of places to eat, places to listen to music, places to do things. All kinds of great things. We've got wonderful maps and, yeah, just a sheet of all the information of all the great merchants that are here. And we've got a couple news stores. We even have an NFL pop-up merchandise store right behind you. And so just a lot of lot of places to go and visit <laughs> and uh, participate in this great yeah. event. Oh, oh, oh. 
I love it. I love it. There it is. And of course, I, I'm going to check out and see what kind of callings they have from the Eagles fan, the Chiefs fan. But we know here in uh, in Arizona and in Phoenix, we got we got one good call, and that's uh, yeah. You're all right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't know what side I should go to. Should I go Eagles first or Chiefs first? Who wants? Who wants? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Do I go? Oh, oh man. Oh, losers first. Wow. This is what losers first. Hi guys, how you doing? Good man, how you? Good. All right, what's your name? Travis. All right, and Garrett. Chris. Garrett, nice to see you guys. All right, the Chiefs fans, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this game? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we uh, we're actually from the Midwest, and so uh, we live out here now. So this is ideal for us. So this is good. Good weather, right? Absolutely, perfect weather. I went to the first Chiefs game in 1968. No, I was one year old. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so this Not is good. really important. This, this is important. My first Super Bowl. My wife yeah. got me this for our anniversary, and. Awesome. I got, I got three kids back in Kansas City, two kids here. I mean to tell you, we and, got it. And we how, got many, it how many kids are going with you? Just you? Well, just my son. Oh, you did? Wow, you got you won. I did. I did. You, this yeah. Was, yeah. I'm not gonna say anything, but this must be your favorite. Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> favorite. Listen, That's my favorite son. son. Yeah, the only son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love All right, let me check some knowledge with you guys and see what goes on here. All right, let me ask you this. Um, how much does the Lombardi Trophy weigh? I'm going to say uh, 14, 14 pounds. Ooh, so close. Seven pounds. Oh, wow. Seven pounds. So you guys are we're close there, all right? So let me ask you this. Since you said uh, you were there for the first Kansas City game, all right, uh, which team has the most Super Bowl wins for a championship? Super Bowl wins. What? What, uh, Chiefs yeah. team, you mean? What teams? Well, Not Chiefs team, but any team. Any team you know? Uh, I don't know. Probably the Patriots. Yes, yeah. Patriots and Steelers. Very good. All right. You guys have gotten something. We're going to see. So, again, this is, you know, look at the big brain on the Chiefs fans. Thanks to Noggin Boss. And now it's time to look at the big brains on the Eagles fans. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? you guys doing all right? Yeah. So, are you guys in from Philly? You guys out here? What's going on? We're from Philly. Yeah, are you? Philly. So, all right. So, how was the trip out? You guys drive out, fly out. What'd you guys do? Fly out. You fly out? You didn't drive? No. Man, see, that's not a really family fan. You, no. Eagles, we fly. Our arms don't get tired, oh, like that. All right. All right, you guys ready for this game? Are you guys going to the game or are you just out here? Going to the game. You guys, you guys got tickets? Yes. All right, so you saw the pricing for tickets, right? Yeah. Kind of crazy. All right, so let me ask you a couple of questions here. Let's see if you know. Uh, um, let's see. Um, how much does the Lombardi Trophy cost? Anything, any any number. How much do you think it costs? I'm going to say 15000 How much? 15000 15000 That's a steal. That's a steal. $50,000 at the cost. 50000 You guys want to buy one? So, no, you don't want to buy one? No, we'll just, we'll, we'll just get one on Sunday. You know? that's oh, easy. that's what I'm talking about. I love this. What I do love, too, and I have to come on. I want to bring you guys together. How is, I know the sun's killing us. Hope we can see the face. But what I love here is that the uh, fans from both teams are so cordial to each other right now, <laughs> uh, which is really neat. You know, they're talking to each other. They're handshaking, high five. Yeah, yeah. It's Friday, right? It's Friday. It's I mean, Friday. You know, give it a couple more days and we'll see. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, all right, let me just ask, what, what do Kansas City Chiefs people do when they win games? They turn over cars, they go eat hot dogs. What do they do? What's one of the big things? I mean, big barbecue fans, also big drinkers, you know. So yeah. we're, we're going to party afterwards for sure. I don't think we're going to be flipping many cars. So, yeah, not many, uh, but we'll see about that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need some help flipping cars. But I think we'll definitely party afterwards. Yeah. I like it. Okay, I got to ask the Eagle fans. All right, you are all known for wins of climbing uh, poles, right? That's the thing right there. So have you guys picked any out? yet or, or are you still looking around? Oh, we don't participate in that. No, but. no, you come look. Uh, we'll, see. We'll, see. We'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll fly home. We'll fly home and, and see. Enjoy. <laughs> Great. I like how they like. Listen, this is Arizona TV, ain't Philly TV, so you won't get in trouble. Come on, man. Come on. You know. You, you know. Come on. Look at. Look at this. Look, look, this. Look, light pole, street pole. It don't matter. They can grease it up. It don't matter. This thing will go. Bus stop. We flipping stuff over. It don't matter. It's going down. We know what it is. And so that. And the funny thing is, is in Philadelphia, the only city I know that actually has an area for their fans to do that. It's crazy. They said no one wants to get hurt, so they set it up. So. Exactly. I love it. Hey, thank you guys. Get in there. Have some fun. ESPN uh, tailgating party going on. Thank you for stopping by. I'll tell you, it was a big fun thing. Listen, here goes the sign right here. Look, at historical old town, ESPN, Main Street tailgate. We're having a good time out here. When we come back, we are going to check out that Lombardi Trophy over at Hans Park. And we got a place for you to eat while you're watching the game or just making sure you that energy. So come on back.
the Arizona Daily Mix. We are live in Old Town Scottsdale at the ESPN Main Street tailgate going on. And you see this crowd, they're watching ESPN, but also they're watching us here and they're watching what's going on around the valley because it's time to tell you what's happening up at the Phoenix Open thanks to Element IV. And this is what you got going on today. It's Friday. It's the second round. has uh, teed off already thanks to not much of a uh, delay of yesterday, but it should be very good. Then 3.30, Coors Light Bird's Nest opens up and you got Machine Gun Kelly with special guest JXDN, which is going to be going on. And then for tomorrow, Saturday, you got third round starting off at 9 a.m. If everything goes right, it's an all-day green out day. They want you to wear green. You know, you can stop off, pick up that bad birdie outfit right there in the pro shop or at their store in the Kierland Commons area. And you can look good. And then 3.30, the Coors Light Bird Nest opens again and it's Chain Smokers with special guest Griffin. And then on Sunday, it's the fourth round of, of the of Phoenix Open, the final round. Who will win it? Got to be up there to see or watch it on TV. Either one. But we know we got everything going on right here. And we got to thank Element IV for being our Phoenix Open update. Remember, you need to uh, recoup, give Element IV a call. And I'll tell you, there's going to be a lot of recouping going on out here. Look at this. You got the fans here. The show's going on. People staying up, seeing things. This is a party going on. This is going to be fun, which is going to be nice. So, so this is awesome that it's happening, so, which is really good. So, all right. Time for Let's Eat. That's right. Let's Eat is brought to you by Why Cook. Eat local, fresh, and healthy. Just head over to whycook.com. Okay. This is the cool thing about it. We got a lot of people in town. A lot of people are going to be hungry. And you're looking for some food for your big game day. Well, there's one place you have to stop off to, and that is the Hash Kitchen. The big game is where you want to make sure you are your Trish, you are ready to go, you got the food, you got everything you need, and that's why the Hash Kitchen is your headquarters for Bloody Marys and good food. And I got the man, the myth, the legend himself, <laughs> Chef Joy here with me. Hello. And let's, let's, before we get started, Chef Joy, let's talk about all the places you have. Because Hash Kitchen is just one of, this the, many, one of the amazing ones. And yeah. we have the Mexicano, and then we have Sicilian Butcher, Sicilian Baker. What else am I missing? Th th I think that's why. Wow. For now. But there's six locations of the Hash Kitchen. We're in the new one in Peoria, right near the stadium where all the excitement's going on. But all of them have the excitement going on. They are known for the Bloody Mary yes. Bar. And this right here, this is a bouquet of, of just excellence. This is amazing. So this is so good. And this is what you are known for, right? We're known for the Bloody Marys. We're known to go big or go home, have fun, the party. This is your pre-post game, have fun. This is where it's at, baby. <laughs> it is. All right, let's talk about a couple of dishes that we have here. What's this one here? So this one is a smoked brisket hash. So we have smoked the brisket for 10 hours. We chop it up, put it over some potatoes, onions, onion rings, brown sauce, eggs. It's good. I love it. Now, I gotta tell you this. This is only right now here at the uh, Peoria location, but that is something that we're going to be seeing at the different hash kitchens? All this stuff will be on the new hash kitchens within 15 days. The brunch pizza, it's got a delicious pala dough, so a very crunchy Roman dough with a gravy on top, eggs, bacon. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with that. Hangover cure food. <laughs> All right. Now we're about to make a dish that I, I think you might be able to try to make it at home, right? Can you do you this can at make home? this at home all the time. People love potato skins, I right? I love it, yeah. So we make potato skins hash. Oh my God. Have fun with it. So okay. we braise our carnitas for three hours. So go ahead. So, that, so it has potato skins. It's got the cheese on top. Okay. We did it. Yeah, throw it on. Break throw it, it on, all around. Break yeah, it all, break it all, all right. over the place. All of it? Let's all of it, it everywhere. We're oh not my shy. Goodness. We're not shy of hash. I'll tell you, this is the place where you come in if you're on a, if you're on like a diet. <laughs> if you're on a diet, this is the spot for you, right? And then so green chili sauce, delicious. Delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Come all right. on. Oh and my then you top it with all the fun stuff. So we got the fried eggs right here. Okay. This goes. We you got fried, poached, whatever you'd oh like. Oh my goodness. And then we got cotija cheese. Okay. What do you got over there? Oh, I got, got some little green onions Green onions. There. Delicious. Cilantro. All right. Make it rain. <laughs> Ooh, some fried onions. Oh my gosh. And then look crema. Oh. I mean, this is just delicious. That's what it it's all about. It hits your palate, baby. It's good. It's healthy. It's great for you. Oh my gosh, it's fun! And that's what the Hash Kitchen's all about. All types of fun for the whole family, right? For the whole family, for your friends, hang out, drink, have a good time, listen to music, whatever it is. We're here. Why be bored? <laughs> Come here. We'll give you excitement. There it is. And the locations is the Peoria. Uh, 
Peoria one that we're in right now. Yes, we have two in Peoria, one in Chandler, two in Scottsdale, one in Arcadia. There it is. And I have not done the uh, Bloody Marys yet, but you will tell you, you got to come try them because this is the headquarters for your uh, Bloody Marys, and it's either go big or go, go home. home. There it is. <laughs> Okay, all week long, I've been cruising around in the solo car, which has been so much fun. I'm gonna tell you about my experience, and also I'm gonna tell you how you can have your own fun experience down at the Experience at Hans Park with Solo. When we come back with more of the Arizona Daily Mix live from all your football fun. And welcome back to There's Not Daily Mix. We are live here in historical Old Town Scottsdale at the ESPN uh, big tailgating event right on Main Street. Now, uh, for the past couple of days, I've been driving around in the solo courtesy vehicle, uh, having a good time. Everyone's like, oh my goodness, Brad, can you fit in that? Does it work? How do you love it? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I love it. And you can actually have a chance of getting in one. We're going live down to Margaret T. Hans Park to the Arizona Super Bowl experience that's happening there. And we're seeing Dan with Solo. Dan, how you doing? Hey, Brad, how are you, man? Uh, I am great, I'm telling you. I've been having a blast driving around in the Solo vehicle. One, because I, I'd say I have a big truck. And I said I want to go green like, you know, the, the waste management is, like the Super Bowl's going, everybody is, and Solo. So I got in one of these. It has been really fun, but also it's been like pretty much um, money saving, which I love. So let's talk about Solo really quick because, I mean, this is a really cool car. It's a cool car, and I liked it when we first put you in it. You were like, big man, small car, big man, small <laughs> car, and it works, doesn't it? It, it, it works, but it is, and, and that's really what the Solo is about. It works. It is purpose built. It's uh, three wheels, two doors, one seat, zero emissions. It's just perfect for doing all the kinds of things you do during your day where you don't need your big truck or your SUV. So uh, uh, we're, we're really excited to be down here at, uh, at the host committee's experience at Hans Barn. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Dan, it is. You know what? Literally, our station's not too far from my house. And, you know, I was firing up the car and, and spending a lot of money. Jumping this thing charges up very easily, really fun. But what I love is that, one, that you guys are down there. Two, people are going to be able to get in it. And three, have a good time singing. What do you have down there for them to experience with the solo car? I I'm telling you, it's, you know, you probably did it while you were driving around. Everybody sings in their car. They don't tell you they do, right? But you can drive down and you can look over and you can see people in their they're banging it out, right? Well, we're taking that and we're taking a twist to it, and it's called Do a Solo in Your Solo. So we have a karaoke set up here that is absolutely spectacular. People are going in and singing. We've got songs you can choose from. You sit in the solo and you and you do your thing. I mean, the Gin Blossoms and Jimmy Eat were over here last night. Maybe you can jam out a, a Gin Blossom song while you're in the solo. <laughs> I like that. Or Lee Bryce tonight, you can have some fun with country music, all kinds of stuff. Dan, this is really cool. Also, too, we got to bring up that Solo is, can we say, going to be homegrown soon because you guys have a new facility out in Mesa, which is awesome. I was out there. I saw it. It's beautiful. And you guys are excited about that, aren't you? Oh, we're very excited. We commissioned the plant uh, uh, a few weeks ago our headquarters down so all our headquarters are in Mesa, Arizona now and uh, we're setting it up so we can manufacture and assembly vehicles there. We're very excited to be to be Arizona based. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, I was just told there is someone that can actually do some singing for us to show how this works. <laughs> so is she, is she, I know we didn't have her blast a little bit. You have the microphone right there as we're talking. Yep, uh, we'll get very Kimmy windy Shackleford out there. And she is ready to bang it out. <laughs> Let's have her hit play a little music and see what she's got. <laughs> Is that Kimmy? Is that Kimmy? What? Terrence, at halftime. 
Oh my gosh, that was incredible. But that's what people are going to be able to do, which is a blast for everybody. Uh, it's good. Um, okay. What's really nice too is people are wondering about the solo. Even some of those people that have those other electric cars actually stopped me and asked me about it. And I said, you know what? You got to go to the website, but they can come down there to the park. And also, where can they go to uh, check out the solo in person, Dan? Yeah, and that's a good, really good question and good point. You can come and schedule a test drive. You can test drive at Mesa, at our headquarters in Mesa, or at the Fashion Square Mall in Scottsdale. And get this, we're going to be putting your car, your vehicle, your solo, and the other courtesy vehicles on sale February 24th and 25th. So we've got the big event sales event coming up. So check us out online. Oh my goodness. And, uh, wow, so yeah. someone might be able to get the car. And don't worry, I kept it clean. It's washed. It's been waxed. So whoever gets this one is going to have a beautiful car. So Dan, and maybe we'll the, sign it, and get, it'll cost even more because it's been signed by you. Babe. Ooh, I, I like that. <laughs> hey, Dan, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it was a blast driving us around, and I don't know, maybe I might be the one to have it. We'll see. All right, okay. sing in your solo. <laughs> sing in your solo. <laughs> well, sing in my okay. solo. Well, I know one thing that a lot of people are going to be doing, and that is sw singing their winnings if they do head over to the Gila, Gila River Resort and Casino and do some betting. We're going to talk about that coming up after the break. This is the Arizona Daily Mix with Brad Perry. Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. This is our live show from uh, pretty much all over uh, the valley, you could say, as we get ready for the big game. Um, we're in Old Town right now at the ESPN Main Street tailgating going on. And I stopped in the Maverick here uh, because I feel like I might have the wrong hat on. Uh, and, and Sonny, I know I'm wearing my, my big noggin hat, but you're saying we're in Old Town Scottsdale. I got to look the part, don't I? Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's so, it. Yeah. So this is, how, you've only been here for how long now? Uh, one week. One week, and you have just... TV coverage and everything. Yes, sir. It, uh, putting the Wild West back to Old Town of Scottsdale, the cowboy, the history, where it's belonged to is. Yeah, and yeah. this is awesome because what's been happening this week is you've seen everybody who has watched Yellowstone come in here and, of course, wear the Yellowstone outfits and get them ready to go, right? Yes, 100%. So I like it. Okay. You know, and this yeah. is a Yellowstone hat, almost. Uh, it's a beautiful hat. Look at this. It's yeah. gorgeous. Ooh. All right, and, and so... Oh yeah, I, I feel, look at that, I put it on already and yeah, look at that, I feel great, uh, I love this. 100%. Uh, all right, I got to go out there and see yes, a real cowboy. Yes, 100%. Maverick, you, you got to come check it out, right? Yes, 100%. Come check us out in Old Town Scottsdale to Maverick of Santa Fe and Maverick and Aspen and Maverick of Scottsdale. So, I love it. Thank I love you it. so there much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> all right, you. We'll be back. All right, let me take this, watch my big one. Just make sure, all right, that's right, because I got to make sure I look good walking out here. We are coming out here, and I'll tell you right now, there's one person that we love to meet up with that's a true cowboy. That is Gary here. Gary, man, how you doing, the singing cowboy? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing great, thank so, you. How cool is this to have you out here? You've been on ESPN, you've been national everywhere. This is just incredible, you know, and it all started with Scottsdale wanted me to come here and sing 20 years ago to keep the westmost western town alive, and I wind up getting to do all of this fun stuff. So, and, and, you know, you are Lily ambassador of Arizona. People know you when they come to this because you do shows for them, you do campfires, you do all kinds of stuff, and you bring this beauty with you. Yeah, Dusty and I have been doing this. Dusty's been doing this with me for 19 years now. Wow, that's amazing. It is. So, all right, you know what, can I get, I know we're in a show, can we get a little song from you really quick? The song, what do you got for us really quick? Here's a song that I wrote to end up all of my shows. Be happy in the saddle, sing a happy song. Be happy in the saddle, smile when things go wrong. Be happy in the saddle, fill your heart with cheer. Whenever you're feeling lonely, you're always welcome here. Whenever you're feeling lonely, you're always welcome here. Love it, Gary. Thank you, man. And that's when everyone is welcome out here to, of course, the big tailgating party going on. Like our fans right here who are out enjoying themselves, having a good time as they are getting ready for a good uh, game, a good evening of different things happening. As we mentioned, uh, we've been down at the uh, Margaret T. Hans Park with Solo, but also that is a free event. Uh, gates open today at 2 o'clock, goes until 10. Lee Bryce is hitting that main stage tonight uh, with a couple other guests. What's going to be going on and fun for everybody. So, okay, while I'm here, I got a little fun fact.
facts for you. Let's see who can do some fun facts. Who would like to win something? Who would like to win something? You guys like to win something? Who wants to win something? You want to win something? Okay, let me ask you a couple of questions. Okay, uh, what is the Super Bowl snack in Arizona? What is the go-to snack for Super Bowl in Arizona? Chips and salsa. Ooh, very correct. You are very good. All you got to do is head over to aztv.com slash win. Put your name in there and something's going to come to you. Cool. All right, you like that? All right, let me go with another one here. Um, let's see. Go cheese. Oh, you want to go cheese? Yeah, go cheese. Okay, go cheese. I like that. That is really cool. Uh, let me see if I find another fan here. Uh, let's go over. Uh, well, I have to find an Eagles fan because that Chiefs fan answered and they won, so I gotta. I just gotta be fair, okay? I, I gotta be fair. Here goes the Eagle fan. Hi. How are you? Eagle? Are you an Eagle fan by any chance? I sure am. Are you? Can I ask you a couple of questions if you want to win something? Maybe Somebody else? Okay, this is a good question. I'm giving away like $100,000. Yeah. Well, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll find someone else, someone else. Let me see. Oh, look, I'm a McNabb fan here. Do you, do you know Devin McNabb? Yeah. Do you? I do. I know him very well. <laughs> so, yeah, I know Donovan. I know about him very well. So, he's a good friend of mine. Can I ask you a question really quick? Just to, okay, you can win something. So, all right, here you go. You ready? Uh, how much grass is needed to cover the field? Grass. Yeah, like the whole grass, quickly. Uh, Oh, we're going to come back and find out. We'll give you a chance. One million pounds. All right. Hey, listen. You're talking about uh, betting. You're talking about looking for something to do. How about heading over to the Gila River Resort and Casino? Check this out. Daniela, here we are in the... Uh, MGM betting room here yes. at the Gila River. Resorts and casinos. There it is. Now this is really cool because this is a new place, right? Yes. So this is brand new. So with the legalization of sports book, uh, sports betting, of course we had to open a sports book. So we have our bet MGM sports book across from Top Golf. And again, it's pretty similar. You come up here and make your bets, but then you're still part of the casino vibe up here. I like it. Okay, let's talk about betting because one, you guys have it where you can come in and bet. Yes. Or if you're out golfing or if you're out doing something around the property, right. you have an app that they can use. Correct. So if you're anywhere on the Gila River Indian community, that could be at the golf course or you can be shopping at the outlet and all of a sudden I forgot I need to make this bet when you're on the wild horse wild horse pass area you need to use the bet Gila app so download the bet Gila app and you can make your mobile app but if you're here and you want to come into the casino you come in and make your bet so you can come in and do it on one of our kiosks which is super simple or we have some experts who can really tell you exactly what you need to do that's the part I want to ask about the experts yes, yes. they're the ones who are gonna kind of like walk through especially if you never bet before because right. there's over under under top to blow who all these different things so right that's what they sit down and kind of like go with you right there's so many different bets you can make and with sports betting still being semi new a lot of people still don't know about it, it might seem intimidating but we welcome all people whether you're new or you've done it before come in and ask some questions and they'll really guide you on you know what type of um, bet you can make you want to do something that's just an outright bet who's gonna win or do you want to do something fun like what color Gatorade are they gonna <laughs> you know splash on the coach so they'll really walk you through all of those things that is so cool and it's very yeah. comfortable and nice I mean there's food up in here yes. there's drink there's everything that you need right here right so you should come up here and watch the game because the ambiance during that game is incredible because we have people who are diehard football fans and some people who are just coming for the party and just the mix is so fun up here. Oh my goodness. All right, there yeah. it is. So I can come up here, do some betting. Yes. Uh, so of course the kiosk, everything's right there for you. Uh, you also have a program uh, that gives back to this community, don't you? Yes. So we have our Gila River Cares Foundation and we have different programs that give money back to nonprofits in need throughout the state of Arizona. And we like to focus on education and kids to kind of support them. Yeah. Um, also too, you have it where if people have a gambling problem, you're here to help them, aren't you? Yes, of course. If anyone has any issues or any questions, they're more than welcome to ask anyone here on the floor or they can find additional information on our website. So, and then the, I guess there's a program where you, the way you help them that they get back to the community too. Correct. Our self-excluded jackpot fund, for some reason, if some of our guests, if they can accept their jackpot funds, that money will grow in a pot and at the end of the year, we'll give it to different nonprofits. So sometimes, depending on how big the jackpots are, we might give away, you know, $100,000 or $200,000. This past year, once we added up all of those self-excluded jackpot funds, we gave a total of $175,000 to four nonprofits in the state of Arizona. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's yeah. amazing. All right, well, time for me to make that big game yes. bet. So let's, let's go. Check go. It out.
right. You know what? Everybody's got something going on, not just in downtown, not just in Scottsdale, but also in Glendale at Westgate. Come on back and see how you can enjoy a carousel of fun. Welcome back to Arizona Daily Mix. We are live here in historical Old Town, where we are at the ESPN uh, Main Street tailgating. You can see ESPN has the show going on right now. People are out here. They've been out early in the morning. You got your Chiefs, your Eagle fans out here. It is crazy all over the place here, which is awesome. What's really cool, too, is that we've been talking about downtown at the NFL Experience. We've been talking about out here in Scottsdale. But also, Westgate is a place that you can go and have some fun, too. And one place, Karis. Hey, out here at Carousel, an adult arcade in Westgate. Carly's here with me. This is a pretty cool place. Yeah, it's awesome. We're Carousel Arcade Bar at Westgate Entertainment District, a fun place where we like to say adulthood meets childhood. <laughs> arcade games, lots of fun. Yeah, I mean, how many arcade games do you think you have here? I think we have a little bit over 15. Everything from obviously basketball yeah. to our pinball machines, some carnival style games. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite right yeah, here. So one. I like this Pac-Man. You have everything right there. Anything a adult played when they were a kid can play yeah, it now. Exactly. You can come just be a kid again here. <laughs> this is great. Okay, you did say it's a bar, so there's some really cool drinks you have here too, isn't there? Yes, we have so many fun specialty cocktails. Cocktails. On our right is the lemon drop, and then we have our sour patch margarita and the very berry. We like to make our cocktails just as fun as our arcade bar, so you can have a little fun with your cocktails too. And it's a full bar too, awesome yes. with that, right? Beer and wine, everything. Exactly. Anything you can think of, we can make for you. We also have our happy hour, which is from 3 to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and all day on Thursdays. That is so cool. Okay, it's not just about the drinks, there's also food that you can get here, which is really cool too. Tell me a little about about the food that we have here. We have so many fun dishes. So right in front is our orange chicken bowl, and then we have our Mac Daddy cheeseburger, which is obviously a lot of fun too. Our Supreme flatbread, and then gotta have dessert with our Funfetti cake shake. That's it, but before that, what do we got here? <laughs> so this is the big carousel sampler. If you're here with a bunch of friends, try and have a lot of fun. It's good to share with everybody before you play some arcade games, grab a drink, come in for happy hour, Oh my goodness, so much going on here. Okay, it is that time of year that people start adding new things to the menu, new things to the fun. So you got some new things coming out, right? We do. So we have some new weekly specials. We're going to have bingo on Wednesday starting at 8. Bingo? Oh, yeah, oh such my gosh. Fun time. So you can play some arcade games and some bingo. We also have industry night on bingo. So if you're in the industry, you can come and get 20% off your bill. Thursdays, like I mentioned, we have all day happy hour and trivia. Friday, we have Friend Bowl Friday, so if they're giant fish bowls that you can share with your friends, they're half off every Friday, and then free gameplay during happy hour, too. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Also, what's really neat, too, is that you can give this place as a gift, if you want to, to some friends, right? Yeah, we have gift cards, so if you want to come with your friends here, maybe tag along for a birthday and give them a birthday gift. We have plenty of gift cards that you can pass out, too. Right. Okay, so how's it work? I get a card, and I just go in and swipe and play all the games I want? Yep, so we do have game cards for purchase, too, so we have our gift cards for food and drink and then our game cards that you can pass out as gifts too and as I mentioned we have free gameplay on Fridays Sundays we're also starting our power hour so if you purchase a card you have free gameplay for three hours you can stay here eat drink and play games with your friends oh my goodness all right well I'm gonna grab a fry and I think I'm gonna head back over to the uh, <laughs> Papa shop come on let's go sounds good all right, we're enjoying the tailgating out here in Scottsdale, but when we come back, we're going to check out some experiences downtown and talk with my man Manooch when the mix returns after this. Welcome back there's our daily mix. You're wondering where we're at. We are in Main Street. Uh, 
of Old Town Scottsdale for the ESPN Main Street tailgating party going on. Now, this is where the games are happening. We got games going on here. But you know, downtown, they have the NFL experience where you get to go and be a player, which I got to go do. I had a good time going down there, trying out a couple of things. Uh, they put me through the obstacle course. Um, that was uh, that was as a tester. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to audition or try out or anything. It's a, a try out for the team, not audition. I think it's just auditioning for in general. But it was a blast down there. It's really fun. You go and enjoy yourself, walk around. What's also is really cool, too, is downstairs, it's called Radio Row that you kind of can pass through, see all the different radio stations from around the world, not just Arizona, but around the world. But, you know, I had to stop off and see what my man, Dan Minucci of Rock Minucci Jimmy B on Fox 910 AM is doing down there. Down on Radio Row with the man, the myth, the legend himself. I only get to see him on the screen, but here we are in person next to each other. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Minucci of Rock Minucci with Jimmy B. You got to show Jimmy, Jimmy B. There, there, he there he is. There he is. There he is. Hey, yeah. how is it? How cool is this down here? Get your platforms, your yeah, stool. Let me, let me stand on a chair yeah. and I'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah, get on your. Uh, this is the real broadcaster right here. He was he, he broadcast NBA games for 95 years. No, it's 96. 96. I'm yeah. sorry. That's the Jimmy B. of Rock Minucci, Jimmy B. <laughs> There you go. You see, Dan Sorry. knows what he's doing there. So it's all right. Dan, how's it cool down here? For the oh, this is this is absolutely awesome. I mean, you get down here and you you see all these celebrities, guys like Jimmy B down here doing a broadcast <laughs> with this. But you got all kinds of football players, entertainers. You got Brad Perry down here, and I think that I think everything stopped for about five it minutes. Did. And then they go. And you oh, walked in the door. I thought I was an Allstate guy. But you know what? <laughs> you know we've been we've done like three or four of these, and yeah. it's just it's just awesome to see uh, all the folks and this synergy, the energy, getting ready for the big on. game. I love, it. Yeah. I love it. All right, you get back to work. Oh, jeez. All right, I got to get some Thank you. Um, Brad Perry, Manooch, Jimmy B. See you soon. Talking football, but there's other games going on, especially here on AZ TV 7, and that is HBCU Go Sports Basketball. College Hoops this Saturday, two exciting games, men and women, where we have Alabama State against Arkansas Pine Bluff. Women tip off at 7, uh, I'm sorry, 11.30 on channel 7.5, and men tip off at 2 on channel 7. And don't forget, you go to aztv.com and watch it there streaming, which is really cool. So look at this. We're out here having a good time. Listen, this is what we're talking about. The fans right now are very kind of cordial to each other, which is really good. You, your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew. And, of course, you're playing against an uh, Eagles fan. How are you feeling right now? Are you feeling this is uh, a good competition, or are you waiting to get on the field competition? Yeah, this is a little friendly competition. But we're waiting for the field. That's right. where the real action happens. All right, and, and how you feeling about uh, the halftime show? Oh, great about it. There you go. That's who does love Rihanna. There it is. I love it. All right, let me go down to my Eagles fan down here. Down here we have, and you are. My name is Donna Gray. Hi, Donna. How you doing? I am great. I'm ready for this game. Are you? Which one? The cornhole game or the the football game? Oh, you know Eagles. Eagles. We're going all the way, baby. There you Super go. Bowl number two. I on the love way. it. But let me tell you, I just got asked. Halftime show. Yes, Rihanna. Are you, are you ready for that? I am ready for that. Are you? Yeah. So, I'm ready for that. And, also, they got Babyface here, you know that? He's singing. All kinds you know, of all kinds of singers like that. All right, so you feel it's going to go with it, right? You feel you got it? Absolutely, we got this. All right, let me see how you do here. Let me see how you do. This is going to determine it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's all right. All right, one more, one more. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Oh, all right, let me look at my cheeks there really quick, really quick. Throw, throw for it, throw. Let me see. Let me see how he does. Whoa, there it is right there. All right, hey. Stick around, we got more of the Arizona Daily Mix from the ESPN Main Street tailgate going on. And again, Eagles against the Chiefs. I'm ready for a drink. I'm ready for a drink. Uh, and that's where Bell's National <laughs> Kitchen comes in down here, where they're getting ready. And I love when someone said, hey, uh, when are they opening up? And she goes, oh, around uh, Taylor, somewhere around there. But they're getting ready here. You know, the restaurant's down here. There they are. You got to come down. Please make sure you tip the uh, staff down here because they're amazing. Great food, too, which is awesome uh, to do, which is fun for everybody. So, and I want to mention, there's also another big tailgating party going on. It's the Bull Eyes tailgating.
tailgating party happening Sunday over at the uh, stadium with Sprinkle too. So there's tailgating parties all over the place. But I'll tell you, one person doesn't have to worry about tailgating, and that is the winner of the Spinatos, a big game a giveaway. It's time for the Spinatos big game giveaway. Come on, let's go. Anthony, uh, this is awesome. A, a party that someone's gonna remember because it's all about family and that's what Spinato's is about, family. How great is this? This is so cool. Look at all these people that showed up to have some pizza with us today. <laughs> Let's talk about this contest because it's something that was kind of like said, you know what, we want to get back to our customers, we want to get back to the community and yeah. we want to do it in a family way. So how'd this all come up? Gosh, well, we really wanted to highlight Arizona, right? Family, food, food fun, football, you know? We had a, a great contest for this. Um, this young gal back here, Jill, submitted a phenomenal video. It was hilarious. It was cool. She highlighted it all. She covered it. And that's what Spadano's is all about. When you come to the restaurant or order one of the pizza, it's all about fun. It's about family. It's about good times. Jill, congratulations. Thank you. I'm super excited. <laughs> I love it. How does this feel to be a winner of Spinato's first big game giveaway? It is amazing. It's the best prizes, and I am so excited that I was chosen. <laughs> All right, let's talk about how you got chosen for this, because you did some fun uh, reels, right? Yes, yeah, so it was an Instagram reel, and the theme was food, football, family in Arizona. And so I combined a little bit of all of the topics into one reel and super excited that I was chosen. I like this. So you thought you were just gonna get some pizza, maybe a couple of them like that, but it's more than that, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> I know. Let's start off first. In your hand is State 48 uh, package here with a jersey and hat and all the stickers and everything. It's pretty cool. Yes. So I like that. Then down below here, we have a Yeti. And then over here, of course, the Spinato family has made sure that you are gonna be able to feed everybody at this big party <laughs> with a gift certificate of Spinato's food. So there's one thing I have to say that you are ready to go for the big game because it's the most important part of watching any game on TV, and that is a 75-inch smart TV they gave you. Woo! <laughs> Also, there's another bonus, and that is the gentleman that's standing next to you, Marco from uh, the Cardinals, has brought you something special, and that is a personally signed football. How's that? So great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It is a party, and again, we can't say enough to the Spinato family, to Marco showing up, to Four Peaks, for everybody participating, State 48, and of course, Jill, for being a part of this family fun football contest. So, yeah. thank you. Congratulations. Woo! Welcome back to Arizona Daily Mix. We have been having a good time out here at the ESPN Main Street tailgate. We've also been down at uh, the Park NFL Experience. We got here. It is a crazy day out here that people are going to enjoy and have a good time. Look at this. Wow. Who's going to be the loudest? Who's going to be doing it? Oh, my goodness. We don't know. Coach, how happy are you to be here at the Super Bowl again? I'm ecstatic. This is surreal. I'm loving this. We're having a great time. Good. Now, I've noticed that you've been calling some plays on people, having to have more drinks, have more fun, and, of course, to make sure they cheer for the Chiefs. Absolutely. Go Chiefs. There you go. Go Chiefs. It is a party down here. All right. Tomorrow on Arizona Daily Mix, we're going to relive our Phoenix Open show that you can check out. And then Monday, we have a brand new all-live show for you. A lot more excitement going on. It's going to be good. All right. Are you ready to cheer some more? And, of course, Eagle fans out here. You guys, have a great day. And remember to share that smile.